guys and welcome to a new episode on this channel and today I'll be telling you about to kill to kill a mockingbird now what is to kill a mockingbird and why should you read it well let's start with why you should read it well why I why I think that it's supposed to read read is because like it shows you some lessons and stuff there's actually four of them but I'm just gonna go with one of them the most important lesson to me in my opinion now that lesson is empathy like you well like this you won't understand how that person feels until you crawl under your skin metaphorically and crawling into his and i'm not I'm talking about literal i'm talking about empathy okay and only humans were able to get these empathy i wonder why never mind well to kill a mockingbird well why i also another reason why i said that this is a good is a good look it's because because it's about a child it's because well it's kind of mostly kid friendly but some parts not and also it can teach kids some lessons that can help the kids to well get into their daily life properly and also get into a better community and also another reason is this the winner of the pulitzer prize Yes, also the Pulitzer Prize is one of the greatest prizes in the world and I just want to say that this might be one of the greatest novels because of the prize itself. Even the Pulitzer Prize, whatever, I'm just going to call those people called the Pulitzers. Pulitzer Prizes, pricing people, whatever you call those, um, get, gave this the Pulitzer Prize after they read it. And surprisingly, it was, it won, it, the Killer Mockingbird won the Pulitzer Prize in 1961, the year after the, it was published, 1960. Oh, and another thing is its sequel. The sequel. There's actually a second book. There's actually a second book that Harper Lee actually wrote. And well, I heard, I once heard that the introduction to that sequel is actually how useless introductions are, and that's kind of funny. Um, and also another reason is the name Harper Lee. Now there's. Now Harper Lee's name is actually this, yes, and also a lot of Americans, Harper Lee's American, a lot of Americans mistaken Harper Lee, who haven't met Harper Lee themselves face to face, that she was a Korean. I mean, I'm a Korean, and my mother's name is Lee Yongju. <laughs> and also, and also, I guess Lee is a pretty popular name in Korea, so a lot of people got confused. Yeah. Let's just continue on. Now, let me tell you a quick summary about The Killer Mockingbird. It's about a little girl named Scout and, and her brother who goes on to many adventures. And then this is actually a lifespan of three years from like grade one to grade three. Yes, this is true. And it's like, hey, I'm in grade three and like that. Yeah. Whatever. And then, well, there's this, well, um, Scott Finch, who's like, that's the sister's name, th that's the girl's name and main character, was like going on a lot of adventures and then she went through a lot, she went through lately to the Boo Bradley house and then, well, she, and also there was this, his, her brother called Jen Finch and they, and there was her friend and her brother's friend called Dill. And they both, and actually all those three, dare each other to touch the Radley house. The Radley house. And then one day they try touching the Radley house, but then Jen's pants get stuck on the railway, so he has to go, go back home on his underpants. <laughs> yes, but when he comes back to retrieve them, he finds them so neatly and then, well, folded onto the fence, which will later be discovered that Arthur Radley have done that and near the end of the book like in the like in the ending part scout scout was in third grade and she was in a she was in a she was in a play and she and she was in like she was dressed up as a ham yes a ham and later she will and also she said it was too hot and then she tripped over and then somebody was about to kill her but then it was right she was strangled to death and then like was dead Yes, and later it was found out that it was Elwell Bob who tried to kill Scout and Jem. Jem broke his arm, 
Jen broke his arm and got unconscious. And later, 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 Scout will find out that the murderer is actually Arthur Radley who saved her and, well, her brother. And then, well, later, actually, Arthur Radley will later have his own, have his own reward. Have peace and quiet for the rest of his life. Yeah. And that's how the story ends. And that's how the story ends. And and then the last and also as if you remember from like Jen getting unconscious, this is the last line to kill a mockingbird. Jane waked up in the morning. Now I hope this I hope I get the sequel of this book, which was publishing in 2016. That was like four, 56 years after the publishing of To Kill a Mockingbird. Now that's pretty cool. And I was six years old then, so yeah, it was life for me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope you enjoyed the summary of this. And now, and now I'd say if I was like Gem Scout, sorry, Gem Finch, I keep on, I keep on making their names together. Scout Finch, I mean Scout Finch. I'd say like, I have like, well, forget all of that stuff. And also, I pretty go racist because I was born in a summer community. But, but, well, like the father, Atticus Finch. Atticus Finch was like, teach me not to be like the southerner. But if I was Jen Finch, I was like, hey, I want to be racist. But then, when I hear, like, my father, like, saying that, and I was like, eh, bad idea. Let's just drop that racist idea like that. Also, also, in the sequel, Jem, sorry, Jem and Scout are all, are all, well, adults. So I guess that would be cool. So yeah, I, I guess that version would be cool too. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Much as I did, please like, share, and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you in the next episode. Shun Han. Ah!